It's Allie with Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we're here to talk about the new grinder from Rocket Espresso. It's the Fausto Touch. This is an update to their previous model, the Fausto, and basically the way it gets its name is by the added touchscreen here. So um, this actually makes it a lot easier to use and adds in some more functionality to the grinder as well. One of those being it has three doses instead of two, and it also gives you a manual option, which is really useful and something that wasn't available on the previous version. We'll get into the menu, like more like a deep dive here in a minute, but I wanna go over some of those specs for you. It has 65 millimeter flat steel burrs, which is really nice. That's gonna be um, pretty big, so they're pretty consistent and really nice for home use. It has this nice uh, catch tray here, so it makes it easier whenever you're grinding. It can get a little messy, especially when you're dialing in. So this makes it pretty easy cleanup. You can just pick it up, knock it in the sink, trash, your knock box, one of those things. They've also secured this fork a little bit better. On the previous version, it had a tendency to rattle around a little bit more, but it's a little bit more steady now, especially if you're using your spouted versions. That's gonna hold on underneath here and keep it in place so it can, it's more hands-free. I think that's some feedback that Rocket got from the other version, and I think they, um, they did a good job adding that into this one. It does come in chrome or black, so up to you on that choice. You can match your machine. Um, it is a full infinite adjustment, and when you have an infinite adjustment, that's better for precision grinding, especially for espresso. So you're gonna have more fine-tuned options available, where on a step grinder, you'd be kind of limited to what those steps would be, but there is infinite amount of options. You can really make small adjustments, which can make a big difference. So that's something if you're um, getting into some little bit more serious grinding or you just want a really nice grinder, I would recommend going with that. Now, this grinder is actually manufactured by Eureka for Rocket, so it's gonna be kind of similar to some of their models as well, and you'll notice that. But overall, this is probably more um, like their Atom 65, and we'll probably do a crew review, I'm um, sorry, crew comparison on that later, so just stay tuned. Overall, this grinder is a little bit quieter than the last one, not as quiet as some of those Eureka grinders, but it does have um, pretty low sound. I'll go ahead and grind that out for you so you can get an idea. But a lot of this grinder's features do lay in the menu, so when we get into the deep dive, that'll be useful. Oops, did I miss out? I'm gonna pull a shot too, just so you guys can see. Um, and this is the bottomless, so it's not gonna fit on there exactly as well as the spouted ones would. I'll do my best to do hands-free just to see. Um, here we go. Not quite. That's okay. Um, and I forgot to tear it out. That's okay, you got an idea for the sound, I'll redo that. Um, so I have some pre-selected grinds here for you. Um, that I did before we started filming. And I kind of went from more of the fine end of espresso to more like this actually got up all the way to the Chemex kind of area. I wouldn't recommend using it for that because it's a precision espresso grinder. Anytime you're making big adjustments, it's gonna be really hard to get that back to where you want it for espresso. So it's best fit for that use exclusively. But these are those coarser grinds, which is pretty consistent on the farther out of it. This wasn't the most coarse it could go, but it's still pretty good for those bigger grind sizes. Now, here we've got a little bit more like your V60 pour over, maybe if you like a little bit coarser AeroPress. And then here we get to your espresso grind. This is really fine and I'm really pleased with how consistent it is. It's more like that powdered sugar, which is ideal. Not a lot of clumping here, which is nice. I went even more fine, um, which is probably only something you do if you're having some um, like lighter coffees or something like that, you're trying to really extract that flavor from. Um, it's still really, really consistent here. I'm really satisfied with that. I think it will do well with lots of different coffees and those precision amounts. So you get a pretty good idea of the consistency here and some of its range. You shouldn't ever have to go out to these coarser grinds if you're using it for espresso only, but just so you can get an idea. All right. 
So for the deep dive, we'll get into that now in um, just a second. Okay, so this is the main screen here. So you'll notice a couple things right away. Um, three doses, so one, two, and three up at the top. The big M in the middle is your manual dose. So at the bottom here, we have a plus and minus. That's actually how you make your different timed adjustments. So to go up, you'll just hit the plus, and to go down, you'll just hit the minus. So you can change that for each of these settings here. And then when you go to the manual, you'll see it's zeroed out and then it's just gonna count up for you as you grind. So you'll also notice the lock feature up top. And this is actually a cool thing because it's going to prevent, say, your everyday use from accidentally hitting these buttons and adjusting your time. So um, it is a little tricky and it might be a little confusing. It is a very long hold. So about six seconds when you hold it, and then the buttons, the plus and minus, will disappear. There you go. So then you'll notice it's also locked now instead of being open. So if you wanted to change that back, same thing, hold a long hold for about six seconds. So menu here is another cool thing. So right away you see your shot counters, and this is neat. So you have how many shots were pulled on the single, double, triple, and how many seconds were on the manual. This will he help you keep track of when it's time to change your burrs, um, like routine cleaning and that sort of thing. We'll go ahead and skip to the next one. Next one. So you can adjust the brightness on this as well. So if you're light sensitive, oops, sorry. Go back. If you're light sensitive, down. Or if you like a real bright display, up. Sorry, more, you wanna to touch it with the flat of your finger. I keep trying to do the side. This is pretty cool too. So they have different options for the color of the screen. Um, the copper in particular is cool because it will match like their apartamento models and that sort of thing. But you have your choice. So I'm gonna stick with copper for the rest of the time we're here. You have a factory reset, which will basically reset all the shot counters. Sorry, not the shot counters. That's the one thing it doesn't change. What I meant by that is the shot times. So that will reset to factory reset. So if you're messing around and you just kind of got it out of whack, you want to start over, that's useful for that. It'll also reset the color, but that's really easy to change. Um, software updates, you can keep track of that here. And there you are. That's pretty much it in the menu. Um, see, now I've changed those to the copper color. So you have that there. And yeah, there you go. Pretty cool touchscreen. It's a modern update, which I like. This is gonna be more like some modern appliances you have in your house. Um, so yeah, that makes it a pretty nice, pretty nice to use. Pretty easy to use as well. Pretty intuitive for the most part. You just have to be careful. These buttons are a little bit more sensitive than something like the menu or the lock button here. Um, something else I did wanna note is that Something this grinder does have but doesn't have, it has a pause function. So if you're going to like start your grind here, I'll just pour a little bit into the plate. You have the ability to pause it, but see after a few seconds it can restart, but say you're like mid grind and um, you wanna kind of start that over, there's no way to like hold the button like you would on a different grinder and it start over. It just kind of has to do the reset on its own or you have to click away and then back to it and it will reset. But yeah, that's about it. Okay, so now we're gonna pull a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and tear out my grinder here. I tried to set this up to be precise. I'm going for a target of um, 19 grams in, but I didn't test it because I didn't wanna run out of coffee. So six seconds here on the double shot button. It looks pretty close. Let's see where we're at. 20, so I'll just knock a little bit of it off. Let's see where that left us. 19.9. It's 19.3, which is pretty close. Usually I'd go for like within two tenths of a gram, but I think it will be fine at three tenths. Perfect. Beautiful. I've got the Giotto Evo R with timer here. 
go ahead, just see how accurate I can be. When I was pulling this shot before, it was good around 25 seconds for 32 grams. We will see. That's something that's really useful about the timer on this machine in particular because you would be able to use that time as more like a ballpark instead of having to use the scale. Looks a little fast, so it might come out a little bit bigger shot. I'm gonna end it at 24. Yeah, probably a little bit more than I want, but we will see. Yeah, 37 instead of 32. I don't know, depends on how picky you are about your espresso. We will taste it though and see. Oh yeah, so this is the Batdorf and Bronson Holiday Blend. It's like really nice, um, kind of dark, which I like during the winter. It's a little bit more like a uh, warm you up, get you ready to go. Kind of more of like a, a punch in the face, which some people really like for their espresso in particular. I think this would be really nice in a milk drink. It came out really smooth, um, even though it was a little bit over, so that's nice. Yeah, nice spice note. I'd love this in a mocha. I would recommend trying it. There you have it, the new grinder from Rocket Espresso. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.